we use it every single day. So first thing you're going to do is, like Jennifer had talked about, is branding. You want to come up with a team name. Something for your team to hashtag on all their pictures. You know, I use Lash Twins all the time before I started my team page, got my team name going. Now, I started my team page once I was going for pink. I had just a few girls on my team and I pushed to have that team page so that I can continue to motivate that team to be able to grow. Um, now, what you wanna do with your team page, definitely, definitely keep up with positive quotes every single day. Keep your team upbeat, positive, you know, ready to conquer anything. You know, I had one of my girls on my team told me that she has some down days and you know, she gets a little bit upset and she'll get on Facebook and see a positive quote on the team page and it will completely make her day and start off the right way. So you want to keep the team <laughs> upbeat. Um, next thing, always share any kind of info that you can. So obviously we have our black status pages and I will screenshot anything that are on those pages. I share it to my team page. Even though they are in those black status pages, I don't want them to miss you know, important information. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I also do tasks. I put out you know, who can start the most um, you know, online parties for the weekend. Anything to keep them going, keep them selling, you know, getting everything going, any kind of task there is. You know, post your why video to your news feed. Um, take a selfie with a certain product, anything like that. And shout outs. Definitely, definitely shout out your team. It keeps mm -hmm. you going. It keeps you positive, being able to be recognized for what you're doing. So, I mean, even the simplest thing. I have a newer teammate that posted her first video. I put a shout out on my team page. I make sure that they get that recognition for, you know, doing that work. Um, now, incentives. I do run incentives in my group. Um, I do think that it will push your team to work harder. Obviously, everybody likes free stuff. Um, <laughs> now, when you're first starting, your incentives don't have to be anything crazy. I started with mm -hmm. giving away a lip gloss, and mm -hmm. that was it. And my girls ran for it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's gotten to the point that I finally gave away one of the... Um, Aaron Condren planners, mm -hmm. which was a huge, huge incentive for me. And I was going for green, so I decided to go a little bit higher. But incentives don't have to be anything crazy. It can be, um, let's see. So next thing with your team, you always, always want to lead by example. I can't stress that enough. So you can't expect your team to work hard if you're not doing that yourself. Um, Judging. <laughs> So if you're telling your team to post daily on their Facebook, to you know, recruit new team members, to do the videos, anything like that, your team needs to see you doing that yourself and even harder than when you're pushing your team. Um, especially sales. If you're pushing your team to do $500 in sales, your sales need to be at 1000 you know, 1500 Push yourself to always outdo yourself because you have to put in that work so your team sees you doing it. This is not you know, a business that you can start this team and kind of sit back and let them run. Mm -hmm. You still have to keep going. Mm -hmm. um, because all in all with your team is the success of the girls underneath of you is gonna bring success in your business. Now, you also need to be available to your team. So you wanna be there if they have questions. You know, Answer their questions. Get on the phone with them and do a one-on-one -on -one call if they really need something. You know, if a girl is doing her first home party and wants somebody to go with her and be able to you know, help her along with it, go to home parties with your team, anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, you wanna be their mentor in their business. You, don't, you never wanna hold their hand or anything like that, but you wanna get them on the right track so that they can go and succeed themselves. And then the biggest thing behind you, know, you leading by example is you have to remember on how you started in the business. You had your upline, you had those leaders that you always watched. You know, you have to be that person for your team. You know, you're now their leader and they're going to follow your lead. Mm -hmm. So next thing is always, always track your back office. You want to know where your girls are. You want to know how close they are to their goals. Now, the biggest thing is with my team is I know where everybody stands in the company, what they want out of the business. And that's something that you need to know. 
You need to know where their goals are, how hard to push them, what they want, you know, in the end. Um, you know, we always talk about run with your runners and walk with your walkers. You're going to have some people that, you know, are not really pressed on being at the top of the company one day. They just want to make a little bit of extra money, and that's fine. So, you know, go along with them, the speed that they want to go, and let them reach their goals and push them to that. Um, and you definitely, definitely want to shout out promotions, uh, keep track of the girls. And that's something that I utilize in my team page is that if you have a girl that is, you know, 10 mascaras away from hitting their promotion, shout that on, out on your team page. Let everybody know how close they are. That keeps them motivation and keeps them pushing towards those promotions. Um, I also do something with my first line is I, um, or no, well, shout outs for promotions are my first line. My girls know that anybody below them, then, you know, it's their job to be able to do that for their own team. Now, what I do for my entire team is no matter if they're my first line or not, um, I shout out my girls for hitting $500 in PRS for the month, and then I also shout them out at 1000 um, if they go higher than that, then I might do yeah. shout outs too. It's all about that recognition to push them and, you know, congratulate them for hitting certain goals. Um, and the same thing with sharing their success, you know, their videos. It's so good. Um, Jen's taking sure notes. Like that that. Um, now, last thing that I really want to talk to about that. is this is something that, you know, Adriana has always, always pushed is um, you need to put time into yourself. Now you're a leader, you have this group, you wanna grow as a person. And the biggest thing to do um, for that is obviously your positive affirmation. Make sure you're posting those positive quotes. You need to have that positive outlook in your life that you wanna portray onto your team, your possible recruits, your customers, anything like that. Um, you know, keep your positivity in the group. And then also personal development. I can't stress that enough. I never understood the importance of that until I actually put the time into doing it. Um, this is absolutely gonna be key to your success in your business. This is gonna be a key for you being a leader. Um, there's plenty of books out there that you can get. There's videos on YouTube that I watch on a regular basis, anything like that, but definitely, definitely put time into personal development. Um, let's see. And actually, I think that is it. Um, the biggest thing, you know, the quote that I always stay by with my business is in the end, you're not anybody's boss, you're a leader. So you have to have to remember that. Cha-ching! <laughs> She's good. You want to be that leader in the group and you want to set up those leaders below you. And I love you. <laughs> Boom!